Brilliant way to introduce yourself. Hello everybody, welcome back to How To Tuesdays, where every Tuesday I teach you how to do a thing. We're gonna skip a few seconds of this video because, um, it's just her inflating her ego. So you won't be missing much. Today I'd like to teach you how to be a feminist. Now don't be scared, I know it's daunting, I know it's difficult. You're right, it's not difficult. It's impossible. But I am here to guide you through this challenging process. <gasps> You're going to hell, little old me? Oh, I'm so honored. Clearly, you're here because you want to know how to be a feminist. Actually, I'm here to laugh at you. Well, there are some do's and there are some don'ts. Don't treat men as mindless sex monsters. Men need feminism just as much as women because feminism is about men and women being equal in every sphere of life. It's not about women hating men and it's not about women like taking over the world. It's about equality. So are you going to address the unfairness of divorce courts? Or the unfairness of the draft? Or hell, any issue that any MRA is going to bring up? Treating men as though they should like always be into sex or expecting them to have no control over their emotions or treating male strength as a purely physical thing and not an emotional or mental thing, all of these are dope. That's just fucking stupid. Men have more upper body strength than women. It's just a fact. Not sexism. Do go check out Emma Watson's hashtag he for she campaign on Twitter because it is fantastic. And also make sure to watch the video of the speech that she did for the UN. Which many people have debunked over and over and over again. But chances are you're not going to address those critics, are you? Don't use terms that are synonymous with women to put down men. This issue literally needs like its own little thing because it is a serious problem. Oh no, my feelings are hurt. Someone created a law to prevent my feelings from being hurt. When men or women want to put down a man, a lot of times we call him, we say like, oh, you're a bitch, or you're a pussy, you throw like a girl. The terms bitch and pussy has been used by both men and women. And as for, um, what's the term? Like a girl? Guess what? Women also use that term as well to insult men. And also, guess what? If I told you that you look like a man, you would feel mm, a bit offended. And all of those things are literally saying that being a woman is less than being a man. No, 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 no. That is just an insult, okay? Having your feelings hurt does not mean that we're putting down women. Also, don't just accept what's going on around you as acceptable. Like, the number of roles that are offered for women in film as compared to men is abysmal. And the percentage of female directors compared to male and crew and writers and all that stuff, it's absolutely ridiculous. That is untrue, as there are just as many female actors as there are male actors. Films in America is the most diverse in the country. We have gays, bisexual, Asians, Russians, trans, and hell, even those with adrenalinous sex. If we were more diverse, we'd be having fucking furries and even pedophiles. Because, you know, pedophilia is now just a sexuality according to social justice. Also, women have choices. They tend to pick less stressful jobs as, well, compared to men. In other words... Just because there's a lack of women in a certain field doesn't mean sexism. The national average for female engineers is 14% at universities. Like if you compare the number of female doctors to male doctors, just all of it, just you can compare all of the things and it's just not equal. That is also untrue because there are fields where women outnumber men. For fuck's sakes, where do you get your information from? Also, I need to point out that you never encourage girls to be minors or garbage men, which is dominated by men. It seems that it's equality when you want it to be. Don't just sit there and accept that. Get involved in any way you can to change the course of what's going on around you. Do be confident in your ability to change what is going on around you. Maybe you can't go make a movie, or maybe you're not in a position to be an engineer, or maybe you don't want to be a doctor. You can still do so much just by looking around and looking at things that need bettering. Okay, let's start with you. Because you're the problem right now. Like, if you hear someone gendering a term, ask them why that term needs gendering. 
I think that would be more annoying than useful. So like if a male friend talks about putting on guy liner, say, why do we need to gender eyeliner? Can't someone of any gender wear it? It's the same product either way. So you hear a conversation that you're not a part of, then challenge their stance. For fuck's sakes, even, even the most militant of atheists don't go around challenging random people about defending their god. If someone says they're going to put on some guy liner, which, by the way, I never even heard of this term, then what the fuck is the harm? Ask the questions and provoke the thoughts, because that helps to start a dialogue, and that- But that is stupid. If someone were to walk up to me and say something that questions on how I say things, my counterpoint is, if this pisses you off, then I'm doing my job right. That helps to change what's going on around you. No, it doesn't. It just makes you sound like a total prick. And lastly, do be tolerant and patient. Some people genuinely do not realize that their behavior or way of thinking is sexist. And some people don't even know what feminism is. There are certainly a lot of celebrities who at one point or another said that they were not a feminist because they didn't actually know what feminism was. And then they realized what it was and obviously changed their minds. And then there are those who consider feminism to be a major pain in the ass. If we hear or see sexist behavior and we immediately shame that person for their way of thinking and we don't like give them a chance to educate themselves or give them a chance to see that feminism is what's best for all of us, then we're no better than they are. Are you kidding me? You're almost as bad as a Nazi. It's super important to take the time to have a conversation with someone when their views are different from yours. So the question is, are you going to make a video response to me? And you know what? You can't change everyone's mind. That's, that's... Just a fact. So in other words, you're not going to address anything that I said in this video right now. You can't always change everyone's mind, but you can start a dialogue, and I think that that is an incredible power. And I have lots of doubt that you're ever going to watch this video. Because, you know, criticism equals poison in the rise of feminism. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.